Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. So this is for the February Fright Crate, and it's not gonna be as much of an unboxing <laughs> as it normally is because I don't have the box portion of it. Uh, what ended up happening is uh, the box came late yesterday and I didn't know it was on my front step and then it rained overnight, so it just saturated the box when I found it this morning. And um, yeah, I literally could just tear through the cardboard box um, to pull everything out. I didn't even have to undo the tape or anything. So I'm not really unboxing. And I, I have already kind of seen the shirt for that reason, but I haven't seen anything else. And everything inside seems fine. So we're all good. Excited to get into it. So let's do this. All right. So for the February one, we'll just start with the shirt since I already kind of know what it is. Ooh, nice. Friday the 13th. Part two two or three two sorry i can't keep these straight two i believe yeah looking good i've watched all of the Thri friday the 13th in case you don't know but um i just can't keep straight what necessarily happens in in what because they all blur together and the reason for that being um, most recently when I watch them, I watch them all like back to back to back to back to back. So it just all blurs together and I'm just like, I don't know which was from which. Um, so yeah, but this looks good. I'm, I'm glad because I said the, if you saw the last unboxing I did for Fright Crate for the January one, they did not have a t-shirt and I was pretty bummed about that because I love their t-shirt designs. I think they look great and that is the same situation. It looks amazing. So I'm, I'm glad to have a shirt again. Very glad. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I will wear this. This is... Ooh. Okay, so it's a beanie. Sorry for all the noise. Unless you like ASMR, and then you're welcome. Uh, yeah, so it uh, it's a beanie, and usually I'm not big when the beanies come in, but um, actually this looks like a pretty quality beanie. I will definitely wear this. And the best thing is, what's on the front of this beanie? A clown. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, I, I really love Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but I'm not one of those people who can look at one of the clowns and say, I know this clown's name. It is blank. I do know Shorty by, um, by sight, but all the other ones, I don't know. But that is cool. I will wear that. Probably freak out a lot of people just because there are a lot of people who are afraid of clowns. <laughs> this is quality, though. Like It feels like a nice beanie. I'll wear that, man. I will wear that. Okay, so the next item is something that I'm glad uh, did not... It, it was sandwiched amongst items, so it didn't end up getting wet, and this could have gone very, very wrong, and that's one of these um, cardboard stand-up things. We've gotten two of them before. Uh, you can see the one back there right now. That's from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. I also got one for Stranger Things that was really cool, but I didn't keep that. I gave it to my father because he is loving Stranger Things. He just recently found out about it so we have hellraiser i will keep this one because i love hellraiser and pinhead is one of my favorites Ooh, it's a little messed up down at the bottom here but that's not a big deal i can just fold it down a little um these stand up pretty well they're very easy to get, to get stood up so i'm excited i'm gonna uh, maybe put it over here back on top of this stack of dvds and blu-rays we'll see or maybe move my crow and put it next to Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't know. But it looks good. It's great. Usually people think, oh, these are like dumb, cheap items. And like, you know, kind of, but it looks good. And that's what matters to me. I, I, I like them. So the next item is a pin. Okay. And some people are going to rake me over the coals for this one. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Um, so it's a movie I haven't seen. And I know I should have by now. The pin looks really good. I recognize it. Uh, it's from The Burning. There, you can see it there. I mean, I I know, like, I could tell by sight that it's from The Burning because um, this is a very iconic look. It's a very iconic um, character from it. It's on, like, the cover art for the DVDs and Blu-rays. And uh, that pin looks really good. And it's like... It's really, like, metallic and cool-looking. Like, look how metallic that is. Very reflective. That looks good. I really like that. Don't worry. I'll eventually see the movie. I know, I know. I know someone in the comments is going to be like, Dude, you've never seen The Burning? There are a bunch of movies like that. Just know. There are plenty of movies that I reveal 
throughout the videos I put up where I'll be like, I haven't seen that yet. And then people are like, what? I know, it's disappointing. It's super disappointing, people. Okay, and now the cereal resin co piece, which I'm excited to get into. I don't know what this would end up being. What is this from? Is this Evil Dead? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, hold on. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is cool. Um, it's... And, and this is one of the reasons I like what Serial Resin Co. is doing, because they're not necessarily doing all the most uh, popular movies. You know, like they had, uh, what am I looking at? They had a piece from 13 Ghosts over there. They had my favorite piece they've done thus far, the, the Jin from Wishmaster. It looks amazing. And then another one, Chud. As you can see, it even says Ch Chud there. It's like the sewer um, lid manhole cover. There you go. That's what it actually is. Look at that. That looks good, man. Looks looking good. Nice uh nice paint job on it. Great sculpt on it. Yeah, Chud, baby. I like Chud. It it's a little bit of a boring movie kind of, but it's one of those like so bad it's good type films. So, yeah. Um good box. Good box. Definitely good box. Especially excited because got a t-shirt. So, what did we have? Uh exclusive Jason's Revenge shirt. This shirt pays tribute to one of our favorite movies in the Friday the 13th series. Amazing art by Freight Crate collaborator Max Cave. Love Max Cave. His designs are ridiculous. The exclusive Chud mini bust. Delve beneath the manhole. This underground creature comes to life in this roughly four inch bust by Serial Resin Co. Like it. Uh, exclusive crazy killer clown beanie. One of our most requested items are back. Enjoy this custom beanie that pays homage to the poster of this iconic film, Do Not Wear in Space. Okay. Uh, exclusive Pinhead Standee. One of our favorite items return, this time featuring one of our faves, Hellraiser. Yes, Hellraiser, amazing. Uh, and the exclusive Cropsy Pin. Two-inch soft enamel pin from this underrated slasher, which is The Burning. Cool, cool. Uh, good box as usual. Never bad boxes. Now, I have already made my purchase for the March box, so in April we'll be doing that. I continue to keep, I plan to continue to keep getting these and doing the unboxings, so hopefully people are enjoying the unboxings. Um, I'm enjoying getting the boxes. They're awesome. Uh, in my opinion, I've looked into so many horror boxes. Uh, as people may know, I did a bunch of the BAM horror unboxings for a while and then got away from that. Freight Crate is the the one. If you're a true horror fan, Freight Crate is the one, in my opinion. So um, people who don't want to know what the properties are going to be for the March box, go ahead and get off the uh, video now because I'm going to reveal what the March box is going to contain. Not the items, but, you know, what the movies are. Um, the Collector... Which, I like The Collector. I think it's a good film. I know, I feel like it's kind of underrated. It got overlooked. Um, Silver Bullet. This is another one. I actually haven't seen Silver Bullet yet. I know I claim that I really love horror, uh, werewolf films, but I have not yet seen Silver Bullet. That's another one on the list with The Burning, and I will see it eventually. Elvira. We've already got something. We got like two things, Elvira, over the past year or so in the box. So, eh. I'm not huge in Alvar. Alvar is all right. Um, Halloween 3, okay. No problem. Uh, the Prowler. This is this is interesting. I have a feeling that might be what the Serial Resin Co. piece is, is from The Prowler. Uh, that film, okay. I don't, overall, I don't like The Prowler, but the kill scenes are amazing. And, that, and that's one of the biggest draws to The Prowler is the kill scenes are so good. Um, I don't. Tom Savini, I think, did that. I can't remember. Either Tom Savini did the uh, practical effects for that, or he loves how the practical effects were done. It's one of the two. Someone put a comment down there and set me straight on that, please. Uh, and then there's going to be a mystery theme. I'm always down with mystery themes. Um, a lot of times I feel like that would end up being like a DVD or Blu-ray or a signed item. Hoping for that. That's always cool. So... Yeah, good box. Excited for the next uh, next box. Um, and I need to watch Silver Bullet and The Burning. I'll get on that. But thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Please do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe if you like any of the videos I do. If you're not aware, I do a bunch of horror movie reviews on my channel, and I go pretty in-depth. It's not just about, I liked when this happened in it, and I like when this happened in it. Um, 
I do some of that, but I, I try to delve a little bit deeper into meanings of things and thematic stuff in the films. So uh, make it a little bit smarter. But check that stuff out. Hit that subscribe for me, please. If you're already subscribed, hit the thumbs up to let me know you're still watching and encourage me. And then put a comment down there. We'll talk about stuff. But thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.